friends, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window and week three of our Common Bright Quilt Alone. I am so happy you are here. Guys, so many beautiful pictures on Instagram. You are rocking this. Just like last year, we did our beautiful quilt stars upon stars. This year, the common bride is taking over your sewing room and you have so many beautiful blocks to show for. So keep going. I'm super proud of you. We are moving along. And today I'm going to show you how to finish your blocks, your star blocks. So we're going to finish the center block as well. I'm going to show you how to finish those blocks outside. Super, super excited about it. Many of you have been asking, how can you use the Alaska ruler to cut it? I'm also going to show you this, but for anybody that's just joining us in, in case you don't know, we working on our common bright pattern is this beautiful quilt. It's the one behind me and the pattern is available on our website. I'm going to put the pattern next to me to remind myself what we're working on it. I have my page already right next to me and I'm super excited. We are on page number I um uh, on number uh three and four three and four so please open page three and four I had to double check and I'm so excited for you guys if you wanted to we have kits on our website we have this beautiful kit that have those two gorgeous. Uh, bundles. The dark one is for all your dark pieces and then the light ones is for your backgrounds. We already use some of the fabrics for our stars. We also have acrylic templates. Those are the templates and again I have my template A in front of me because the template A is the diamond that goes all the way around my star. So that's the diamond that we needed. If you have cut all your fabrics already, the 400 um, diamonds, we're going to be pulling from that stash. So don't cut it again. That's the diamonds that we're going to be using to uh, put it around our blocks. Now, many of you talk to me about our Alaska ruler and cutting. When you cut with a uh, template it's super easy you cut a strip and once again this strip is a little bit odd measurements 1 and 9 16 9 16 where is a 9 16 this is a half an inch 9 16 is in the middle of five eights okay right here and what i like to do i put a blue tape for myself so that way i butt it right into my fabric and i know i have my um one and five six uh, uh nine sixteen and that way my strips are perfect so you can do that too and uh, later on i'm gonna take a template i'm gonna place the template on that strip and don't ask me why such a odd measurements that's what you need if you do those two inch low four patches and that's what i wanted to do and now this is how you're going to cut just cut keep cutting you're gonna need eight diamonds to go around one star and you can make those diamonds all the same or you can do a scrappy i'm going for moa a uh, little bit organized but also scrappy because organized i'm gonna use the same colors just different fabrics all the way around for our sample i have all the same fabrics because i was prepping the step by step for the filming but for my quilt i'm mixing and matching and some of those blocks gonna make it into my quilt and i'm super excited because i'm okay with having one block that it's very organized and another one that it's a little bit more fun and exciting. Now, if you want to use Alaska ruler to cut it, you can go ahead and tape the line where it shows you the 1 and 916 and go ahead and cut it. Like I said, 916 is just above, but what I would do is the best way to do it is Take that paper template from your pattern, cut that paper template, then position that paper template right on your ruler. Look at what I did. And I have a double sticky tape right there. Do you see? So my template stays right on it. And that way I can visit and talk with you guys and go ahead, 
place my ruler I matched it up I can see the fabric right here it's matching it up but I'm not uh, trimming that paper template I nicely use my ruler to cut the diamonds as well so you can go ahead and go that route if you would like to so you can cut those diamonds that was just refreshing on the diamonds now let's talk about how we are going to place those diamonds onto the outside of our star it's gonna be super simple one step at a time this time though we only have to worry about this uh, pivot point right here this very white seam okay white seam we're gonna fold our star we're gonna pull it back just like this look what i'm doing i'm pulling it back just like this to expose this opening right there i'm gonna take my diamond i'm gonna place it right over again i'm having my low bunny ears sticking out right there if i need to i can go ahead let me do this i'm gonna go ahead and mark my diamond to just give me idea where the points are so right there i'm gonna mark it i need the a and i need a b and then later on i'm gonna need this point one two three and i make a nice dark circle so that way you can see a ni nice dark point so you can see it okay let me fold this back pull it back and right there this point right here have to match with the pivot with the y seam okay right there so i'm gonna put a pin right into that point and pin it okay now this point needs to match with the quarter inch point on that little four patch so again i'm gonna take a pin and i'm gonna pin it okay and now i'm gonna go ahead and stitch this time i don't stitch from the point i'm gonna start stitching all the way from here all the way from here no longer i have to worry about y seams so i stitch all the way i only pin it to hold it in place in exact place that i needed but stitching i'm gonna stitch all the way from here straight down stop back stitch lock that stitch okay then i'm gonna go ahead turn this this way because now i need to finish stitching and i need to stitch starting from here all the way out okay all the way out and again i can double check that my dot is matching the dot on my little four patch right here and if it is i'm in good spot everything is gonna work out great sew it and now flip it open because you want to push those seam allowances towards that low eight point star right here and you are done next one you're gonna do the same thing M make sure you match that uh y seam stitch stitch flip it up and i'm gonna keep going around to i create this beautiful beautiful star now we're not done yet we're gonna need triangles for our corners and we're gonna need one block with accent beautiful triangles for our center and i chose those blues to put it i thought this blue here there is the softer blue here i see some blue in there i don't know why this fabric really appealed to me and with the gold and blues it really worked nice for me this is part of the kit i took that out of the kit and i'm gonna be sewing four half square triangles on each corner of my block just by placing it and you can go ahead and fold it gently to find the middle then you're gonna go ahead match the middle with this this point on a four patch just like this okay center it up i'm gonna pin it nicely in place 
all the seam allowances were pushed towards the outside so there may be a little bulk that you're gonna have to work through and you're gonna start stitching right here as you come up to that point make sure you hold it in place follow your quarter inch because you do not want to lose the point on your cute little um a little a four patch i have sewn those together now the next step i have cut light um, strips and light uh, and pink squares and sew them to the outside only the center block will have this all the remaining blocks okay all the remaining blocks we're gonna start with our star and this time I chose the same fabric for all of those setting triangles right here and on your um in your kit it says three inch half square triangle there is a sticker for setting eight point stars I just wanted to have a little bit more organized colors and I organized my backgrounds really nicely and that's what I did for your kit as well so all that you're gonna do is for all those remaining stars you're gonna use this beautiful taupe with little gentle gold flowers on it I really like that this is gonna be beautiful we're gonna sew it together and then we're gonna trim the block to make sure that our blocks are at um, seven and three quarter inch unfinished okay so we're gonna be making 12 24 of those blocks and only one for the center and that's the one that we're gonna be adding this lovely sashing to it once you add your sashing to it you double check your measurements and you square out your blocks to exact measurements in the pattern i did not square my out because I want to wait to next week where I'm going to show you step four in our quilt alone where I'm going to be making my feather star and I want to make those units first and see how everything comes out because if I needed that one aid to um, accommodate what my sewing come up to be that I'm going to wait to last minute to trim my block if I need it so this is your center block look how pretty it's going to look all the colors are a little bit more brighter a little bit more have a little bit more oomph I'm super excited about this this is going to be a beautiful quilt and I hope you are enjoying this quilt alone and guess what if you have fell a little bit behind this has been a lot of work those eight point star and I understand that so if you're falling a little bit behind do not worry our vid videos are gonna stay forever and ever on YouTube and you can take your time if it takes you two weeks to achieve all your little four patches so be it do not worry as long as you're doing a good job moving along but also remember if you get tired of making something you can switch you can keep going we need one for the center and those can be waiting for another week and you can catch up with this part of the quilt for now I need a one center because next week I'm going to see you for a feather star. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're going to give us thumbs up. Make sure hashtag if you're posting pictures on Instagram, comment bright, uh, hashtag comment bright. And thank you so much for visiting and I wish you happy quilting. Mm -hmm.